together. Good afternoon, you are ATV viewers. Welcome to another episode of the Tax Muchizi Show. My name is Anand Priska, and I'm super excited to be with you this afternoon. I know, you know, it's not our usual time, but all the same, it's going to be a very rich discussion. You've sent in your inquiries, your comments, uh, just on teen, and we figured that let's have that conversation. And we have an expert coming all the way from Boulevard to walk us through this uh, this conversation. So that everything you need to know about team, like A to Z, like one to ten, this is the show for you. So if you you know you have a friend who is not tuned in, please tell them to come and tune in. We are all over the place. We are on X. We are on LinkedIn. We're on we are on YouTube, so you can, you know, tell your friend to come in and watch. And, you know, for, if they can't make it, this is recorded and they'll be able to get it anytime, anywhere. So, Lodia, welcome to Text Me Choosy. Uh, thank you very much, Priska. Good afternoon, our dear viewers. Hmm. My name is Vicky Felina Lodia. I'm happy to be here today to discuss about the team, the team is an entry point to our tax register. Mm -hmm. I'm delighted to be here. And we're very happy to have you here. I, I, you are regular, but it's always great having you on the show because you give our viewers such value for that time, great knowledge, great insights. So let's jump right to it. Uh, you are a sings teen, like everywhere we go, it's all over our building, it's on the bus, it's everywhere. So we're going to start from like, like I said, A, from the basics, from the ABCs, what is a TIN? Um, thank you, Priska. Um, basically, a TIN mm. is something like an identifier in this case. It's okay. a 10 digit number mm -hmm. that the tax body normally issues mm -hmm. to a registered taxpayer. Okay. Uh, and that registered taxpayer, of course, at the time of approval, we issue it, mm. but um, it's basically for administrative, for tax administrative tax purposes. purposes only. Yes. Okay. So when the taxpayer applies for the till, mm. of course we look at the reasons normally mm -hmm. yeah. on yeah. on to which you are applying for a till. Okay. Do you have a source of income, mm -hmm. or you are just applying for some okay. other tax related transaction? Ah, okay. Then from there, we are able to issue to for you a tax, a tax identification number. Ah, okay. So, of course, a tax identification number normally we issue to taxpayers who have chargeable income. And that's why we call it tax identification, identification number. number. It's a number that identifies our taxpayer in our tax register. Okay. Yes, okay. that is all what that. That's what the team is. Yeah. Okay, so you said that um, someone has to be earning some income before they can get a team, or they should be engaging in some tax related transaction. If you could just break down those, what sources of income are we talking about here? Business, like break down those sources of income and also those other transactions that you hinted on. Okay, when we look at the way we tax, we look at do you have business income, okay. do you have employment income, mm. or property income. The oh. three that constitute what we call chargeable. And of course, chargeable, uh, it comes as a result of you determining your growth income, mm -hmm. then you less what is allowed as your deductions, and the tax always is put on a profit. Okay. So we, in this case, we don't <laughs> always. Uh, many taxpayers think we do tax the like, gross. Yeah, like the income. gross income. Yes. Yeah, yeah, like everything yeah, I've got, yeah. like the tax man is just going to come and slice. Everything. No, that's, <laughs> a, that's not how we do it. We, yeah. we, of course, we work on a self-assessment regime where for you, you will declare the income yourself. We mm. trust you as a taxpayer. That's we put true. all the trust in you unless other exceptions come, where you will tell us your growth, mm. your expenses, and mm. the tax is levied, the rate, the rate of tax is levied on your profit. On your profit. Yes. Mm -hmm. In cases where you don't also make 
things like yeah, the things. profit and you've gone on a loss. Mm. Uh, why we normally encourage our taxpayers to communicate through our return is this loss can be an allowable deduction in the next financial year. Yeah. So okay. it's very vital to communicate such. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And the teen allows us to make to have that commun the oh. communication lines. Of course. Ah, okay. Mm. So okay. Uh, what if I do not, you know, I do not have any, in okay, I'm not getting, the, I, don't, I don't have business income, I don't have employment income or property income. Which other instance can I get a TIN? Um, the instance where you would get a TIN is maybe you have a transaction, okay, mm -hmm. a land transaction, say, over 50 million, ah. and you are required here to pay stamp duty. In that instance, you require yeah, you a to get a thing. Okay? Okay. Then you could be having an asset. You know, Prisca, basically, a thing is not only for tax purposes or for paying taxes. There mm -hmm. are very many benefits a thing mm -hmm. can do. Yeah. You have maybe assets yeah. uh, like motor vehicles. Okay. You have uh, the, uh, the border borders. And at one point, maybe you want like mm. a logbook to come in your names. Oh, in this yes. case, a thing is necessary. Okay. okay. Uh, when we when you look at the payments government normally makes mm. Mm. or the compensations, yeah, you could have been having uh, like uh, someone mm -hmm. who have been who was working previously or needs a compensation or any payment through the if me system. Mm. In this case, a team is very necessary. Okay. okay. There are other business opportunities, of course, that each of us out there who's doing a business would want to grab. And in yes. most cases, <laughs> what is required is a tax That's clearance good. certificate. Okay. In this That's case, good. you cannot get a tax clearance certificate when you don't have a team. So it's very necessary for you to have a team so that you are able to apply for such clearance, the tax clearance certificate, and you grab that opportunity. Yeah. There are um, issues like, um, there are instances where you want to transact mm. with our low local governments, say mm. KCCA, mm. the municipal councils, before they issue you mm. a trading license. The first step is yes. for them to team. give you, you, you have to, to have, have a team. team. Okay. And that's what our law mandates them. So they also follow. And for this, I encourage every business person out mm -hmm. there that before you do anything, please come and register with us. We have even simplified mm -hmm. the registration process to allow you get your team within five minutes yes. and you're okay. good to go to process your trading license. Mm -hmm. um, Prisca, uh, I think for taxpayers, mm. is something like an account for you <laughs> where okay. you can do your transactions. You will have to communicate. And this communication, by the way, I refer it in terms of filing returns. Ah, okay, okay. Those tax related uh, transactions, transactions like filing returns. Of course, when you communicate mm. through that team, then you're able to claim things like mm. the tax refunds. You're able to uh, benefit from the tax credits. Mm. Since you would tell us that this is what was withheld mm. from my uh, okay. from ad source, then you will benefit from that. Just assume. At a, a point where you don't communicate that, meaning well, you're missing out on all these amazing missing things. such kind of information. That's true. That's true. Okay. So, so a tin has so many benefits. So many. <laughs> you can look at the cross border trade and maybe you want to import or export right. yes. goods or services. Mm -hmm. In this case, we need a tin. Okay. 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 Mm. So a tin is basically very important very, very, very. for every taxpayer out there, for anyone who is doing business with any person. And when I say a person, mm. it's not only an individual. We refer to a company, 
an individual or an organization. So okay. the team is very necessary. Mm. We, when we look at the financial institutions in most cases, yeah, they when they want to offer out the credits, they where is your team? team. <laughs> yeah. So you see how a team is very important. Mm -hmm. There are very many uh, functions a team can do. Okay. But out there, people might think we only have a team for paying. Paying, yes. That's usually yes. like... But uh, as I have explained, mm -hmm. we have numerous functions, functions for a team. team. Okay. Yes. And thank you so much, Lodia, for giving that insight. Because, you know, uh, when we interact with our taxpayers online, uh, you know, they'll be like, oh, why did you guys go around issuing tins? Because, like, for the Tujenga, for example going around the country and just preaching the tax gospel, but also helping taxpayers get registered. And like, why are you giving this person who doesn't seem to have a source of income a teen? Mm -hmm. And yet this is the part of the information that they miss. Like, you know, sometimes you don't have the full picture, mm -hmm. but thank you for uh, letting our people know. Um, but uh, in Prisca, also when we go for such outreaches, yes. like the Tudenge, mm -hmm. maybe that person would just see everyone coming in. Mm -hmm. But when a taxpayer comes into yeah. our office, which is the bus at that time, of course the bus is the mobile, mobile, mobile office, office yes. we ask actually the taxpayer what kind of, what sort of income they are mm -hmm. engaged in. Mm -hmm. And in instances where we find that this taxpayer does not have any it's clear easy. source of income, mm. we don't register that taxpayer. Oh, okay. We actually bring on board taxpayers who have source of income unless you have any other reason, like maybe you want to transfer your asset mm. in or your team. The land, uh, maybe yes, they're maybe going to compensate you. Or something. compensation. In such instances, we also issue the team. Maybe employment, we give them at that time, okay. but basically we begin from the source of income. Oh, so you have that initial conversation. Yes. It's not something someone just jumps mm. in blindly, no, like no, we no, trap no. you in. We <laughs> engage them, we put them yeah. into a conversation, and if we re re really see it fit for you to be in our register, then we get you on board. Then after getting you on board, we only don't stop at issuing you that thing. We educate oh, you because this okay, thing okay. comes with obligations. Yes, it does. Which you need to know. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, if you don't get it right from mm -hmm. the beginning, then we'll have the compliance issues. So mm -hmm. after issuing that thing, we educate them. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you said it comes with responsibilities. Yes. Would you please break down some of those? Okay, the responsibilities that come with that thing. One is... Course you have to register with the right taxes okay as a taxpayer mm -hmm. yes there are instances where we register you get registered at the first time but you could be missing out some other information okay mm -hmm. could have registered my company for mm -hmm. income tax but i have two other mm -hmm. people i employ under my company uh, yes. and this each of them gets above 235000 per month as okay. salary. Mm. In that in, uh, instance, the law mm. requires you to also register for pay as you earn. Mm. So here we mm. will require taxpayers to register for all the eligible taxes okay. that they qualify for. Oh, interesting. Then after registering, mm. we expect them to keep their record. records. Okay. Uh, Prisca, basically when you look at taxation, mm. it's out of your records that yeah, the tax is true. determined. It's mm. out of your records that you're able to communicate right mm. to URI or correctly to URI through a return. Yes. Okay? And when you have your record, it's basically simple for you to look at the health of your business. Are you in a profit mode or mm, only loss? You get it? Yes. From that, you're even able to make decisions right from yeah, there. Better decisions Change for your business. Anything mm. that can have a positive impact on your work, yeah, on your business. So record keeping is very important mm. for our businesses. Um, 
when you keep these records, then we will require our taxpayers to communicate to us. And that communication is through what we call a return. Okay, yes. And these returns normally have their due dates. Okay. Risker. Yes. Uh, for income tax, of course, we have the provisional return mm -hmm. and we have the final returns. Okay. For those uh, individuals who are in business, for their provisionals within the first three months from mm -hmm. the beginning of the financial year is when we expect such Research projection provision. or provisional returns. Okay. Uh, then for companies who are after six months, that is by 31st of December. December. Then there are final returns for both mm. um, the individual, uh, individual and, and the, the non company mm. is due by 31st of December. Okay. The final? So that is the final return. Okay. Yes. That is on return filing. Mm -hmm. yes. um, in most interactions with taxpayers, they mm. would ask, but when I file a return, when am I expected to pay? Tipe, yes. <laughs> yes, the time when you're expected to file this return is mm. the time when we expect the payment, the payment. to come. Okay, so two through. birds, one stone. Yes, then we also have tax heads or tax types that mm. have other times when we need that return. Tax okay. heads like pay. Pay is basically for employees, employees yes. for those in employment, mm, mm. Uh, VAT, mm -hmm. for taxpayers who are basically registered for VAT. Mm. We have withholding tax, mm -hmm. uh, we have local exercise duty, the gaming tax, such their returns are required by 15th, 15th? of okay. the following month. Right now is twenty eighth. Today is yes, twenty eighth March. Twenty eighth of March, meaning our return for March mm. would be due, due by fifteenth of, of April. April. Okay. But we also don't always encourage our taxpayers to wait for the <laughs> last bell. <laughs> yeah, the, the procrastinators uh, come exactly. alive. <laughs> we, you have you given fourteen days or fifteen days. Please, this is good time for you yeah. to. To the earlier the better. The communication. The earlier the better. That's true. To really avoid yourself from getting mm. in trouble. Because certain tax heads there when you miss even by hours past midnight, then you will find yourself in mm. another not mode very of nice. Energy, which is not yeah. uh right. Mm. As an institution, we basically also want our taxpayers to file in time so that they are able to pay. What the law requires them it's to true, pay as the principal tax. Yes. You don't and get so, into the penal tax. And exactly. You yeah, pay only but what you're supposed to. Such can come when you don't play your obligation in the right time. Okay. So basically, those are like some of your obligations the once obligations. you get your teen. Exactly. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure our taxpayers, now that you know the benefits, why you need your teen, and you know what you'd be getting yourself into, uh, your obligations, and you know, the question is like, how do I get this teen? You know, where do I go? What do I have to do? Who do I talk to? Yes. Yeah, so you have a laptop today. I don't know if we're going to be able to do like a projection so that people see a little bit in real time okay. how to go about it. thank you. Thank you very much. But before we go into the practical bit of okay. how to get it in, mm. I think it's very necessary for our, our viewers out there to know what is required. Okay, the requirements. Mm -hmm. What is required? Mm -hmm. for me to have a team. Okay. Uh, for individuals, we have simplified, as I said earlier, you only need a national hiding. Yeah, that's very simple. And we have simplified <laughs> by introducing what we call the instant team hmm. uh, process on which you will get your team within five minutes. Within five minutes, wow. Yes. Then for individuals who are doing businesses, hmm and maybe the businesses are registered with URSB would require national ID and the certificate of registration. 
Ah, okay. okay. So if I have like make a sole proprietorship, mm-hmm. like Priska's boutique or something like that, and I, it's registered, like I register my business. So that's when I need those two requirements. Like I said, my national mm-hmm. ID and the certificate, certificate of registration. registration. Yes. Okay. okay. Then in instances where you Priska also has your tin already, and maybe mm-hmm. you acquired your certificate mm-hmm. later. Yes. Will only amend mm. your team to include Prisca Enterprises. Ah, you as my it. source of income? As your source of income business yeah, yeah. and only add the business name mm. into your team. Okay. Then for companies, of course, we'll require them to have mm. company form. Okay. When the one which has the list of the directors. Okay. Then there is certificate of incorporation. Mm-hmm. I mentioned the national ID, especially for citizens, for us. Yes, but for non-national, for guys who are not residents, mm. would require maybe a passport, the work ID, work permit. I mean, ah, a visa okay. card, such maybe a refugee card. Two of those can work. Then also for residents who don't have national IDs, not everyone could be having a national <laughs> yes, ID. That's yes, that's true. Because, yeah. We have gone um, across, we have interacted with many and you find someone doesn't have a team or is in the process of getting, getting a team. ID. In that instance, we'll only require two identifiers. Mm-hmm. Maybe you have a village ID. Mm. You have a visa card or a financial card. Oh. Maybe you could even provide us with a bank statement for the past three months, nine okay. days. You mm. get it, there? Mm. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, such two, two of them can work in the absence of the national ID. Mm. And we'll get for you at it. Okay, nice. Yes. Uh, so for that instance, do I still go through Instantine or? Yes, then. If I don't have my national ID. If you don't have if I don't have a national ID. Yes. Do I still uh, and I have those two identifiers that you've just mentioned. Mm. Do I still use um the, the instant in? Uh Prisca for the instant in the uh the what the, the requirement, requirement is a national ID. Ah, Why okay. a national yes. ID is because we have an interface with the mirror. Oh, so we couldn't instinct. have gotten interface with other regulatory bodies, but we mm. have with Mira. That's why a national ID can work. Or someone with a recent mm. driving permit. Oh, because when you look okay. at those recent driving permits, you will always see the name and date of yes. birth. Okay. So it can as well work. But if we are, if you're not able to get a team through the instant in procedure, mm. we have another option. Okay, plan there's B. There's a way out. <laughs> Actually, there's a way out in everything. Eh? It's true. You can apply for a team through the normal, the former the original way that we used the Excel yeah. through the Excel. Okay. Um, submit within a day, we'll be able to give you okay. a team. But 24 hours is also okay. Yeah, not bad. Mm. Mm. Okay, uh, so those are the requirements for individuals and the non-individual. Yeah. Okay, mm. I, I was actually, when, uh, usually when for non-individual, you get the impression that there will be so many, you know, you need this, you need this, you need this, but while you were breaking it down, it's actually, you know, a few forms. Yeah. It, the hustle, there is really no hassle to it. Uh, you guys have done well, <laughs> making it as easy as can be. Yeah, we're trying to simplify everything mm. instead of taxpayers having a lot of like, like mm. documentation to carry. will require one or two. Mm. And you're good to go. Okay. Yes. So to get the, someone to get that in, uh, they can do it online, okay, for the instant teen part. Yes. It's online, right? Yes. But then the non-individual. Can I, do I have to go to the URS service center? How does that work? Actually, most of our services are online. Okay. You can get the teams online through the instant or through the Excel. Still through the instant, that one you get instantly. Strictly. But through the, our normal Excel, 
maybe if you're getting for individual or a company in this case you'll have to apply mm -hmm. through the portal okay then after applying and you've validated and your form is out okay then you will get your form you have to sign attach the necessary documents documents mm -hmm. and you submit to your nearest you are an office. If your office is very far, Prisca, uh, yeah, that's also like, the possibility. Uh, exactly. <laughs> I have uh, colleagues or friends, of course, who come like Mor Moroto is a, a DT office for the whole of Karamoja. And you know, Karamoja oh, has big. like nine districts. Each of them could be over 50 kilometers from the station. Mm -hmm. So, to simplify, how we simplify our services mm -hmm. is. We, you you send this scan these you documents scan. and send to the officer through the mail. Yeah. Such okay. yeah, problem solved. Problem solved, <laughs> and you'll be able to have your team. Okay. So, yeah. are we ready to do the demo? Yes, I think we are ready to do. Okay. Because uh, sometimes, like, you have to see it to believe it. Like, um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, for taxpayers out there, what you will have to do is to just visit our web portal www.ura.go.ug. Yeah, and also then sometimes you can just put URL web portal if you don't remember the, the URL. So you will be interfacing with what we call our URL web portal. Oh. Mm. Uh, we have simplified this. It's actually a different picture from what we previously had. During the old photo? Yes, with the old photo. Don't waste time, we're not hiding one. it. Exactly. Mm. Right now you could be wanting a tin, you just go to get a tin. When you want to make a payment, make a payment, file a return, you if freeze, you mm. want to get anything about if freeze, you go to the if freeze section, DTS. Mm. If you want to know what the tax laws offer in form of tax incentives, please you can visit or anything related to domestic any taxes department, okay. domestic taxes, you can go there, customs, customs there, anything related to the legal and the policies. That okay. are in place, you can visit there. The tax education that we normally do, mm. please. We That's have a lot done. of material there, and we have simplified them according to the sectors yeah, okay. that you could learn. Please, mm -hmm. you can read them. Mm. Uh, these other things, the opportunities, research publications, you can mm. be there. So, we were Perfect on getting a, getting a team, yeah, and. We said the instant team. How can we get an instant team? Of course, we'll also go on others. The instant team, when you look at get a team menu, yes. we have an option for such team. We have the instant team application, the team registration individual. For those I said could not be having a national, national ID, ID, but could be having the two, two identifiers. Files. This okay. is the best option for you. Then team registration for non-individuals. Of course, the non-individuals don't have an option through <laughs> yeah. the instant team, mm -hmm. but we have it through our old, old the, the process, Excel through sheet. the Excel sheet is there. Then here, the group team registration, mm -hmm. maybe I want to register for a non-individual team with the directors at once. Oh, okay. So that is what we call the group, the group registration. So that when they're approving for the team, mm -hmm. everything mm -hmm. is done. Yes. You get it? Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Then what else then is the, there? Mm -hmm. Print team. Print team submitted forms. Here yeah, you can print as long as you have the reference number and the search code. You can print. You can track your application through that. Uh, you can check the authenticity of any document through our portal, especially the tax clearing certificate. Mm -hmm. okay. We can't rule that there are others that mm. could be provided that did go through the right process. <laughs> then we have download the online forms here. Mm. 
then download the manual registration, registration forms. forms. Uh, well, the manual registration forms basically mm -hmm. things like amendments. Okay. The okay. deactivation. Ah, okay. So That's this is where good. you come, and you are. Uh, you will download one and fill, and fill it, it out. Then submit to your nearest office. Okay. So let's go right to the instant. Okay. Team. So, but just on such team. So this is if someone wants to, like, uh, maybe our my employer. I want to just confirm my employer's team. What, how pass, does that option work? Let's see on such team. Mm. What is available? Click here mm -hmm. to search your team. They are saying your team. Mm -hmm. You get it? Yeah. Then you will be required to input your birth, mm -hmm. date of birth, the mobile number, the mother's maiden name, registered email. And when you look at those uh, areas mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. they want, they have the red aesthetics, meaning they must. Yeah. So you will only get this still when you avail us with the information so that you gave us at when the point registering. of registration. Then you will be able to get to your get your thing. Yes, nice, to get your nice, thing. nice, nice. Because uh, th that's when people forget. Like I just met for a teen like years back, but you know, probably I was out. I've been out of employment for a little bit, and now I don't even know what my teen is. So yeah, that comes in handy. Yes, but also we we have the QRA hub. Okay, that you mm -hmm. can download right on your mob or mobile phone and you can search you can be of help to your neighbors or your friends True. you'll only be required to enter the phone number mm. that that person i used when they used were when was registering okay then you choose are you an individual are you looking for a team for an individual or a non-individual you mm. will get your team right from there nice so that's the prisca we are trying mm. to simplify everything. Hey, hey, that you're, you're, even yeah. when you don't interface with our portal, you can get right from your phone mm -hmm. as long as you have your hub. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So back that, to instant team. We, <laughs> uh, we can demonstrate the instant team. Okay. The simplified way of you getting a team in five minutes. Five minutes. So you will have to click instant team. Then you come to click to apply for instanting okay. here. You will interface with that, the applicant category. Uh, from the applicant category, place choose individual. individual. And it's even the only option. Mm -hmm. So you can choose the individual. Then if you will be required to enter your personal your information. Okay. And from here, we need your NIN. Mm -hmm. mm. uh, let me maybe use my NIN. We can let me save. Age 40. Okay, then we leave that. Leave out one detail. <laughs> like, we shouldn't fill out all of it. Oh, okay. So you'll have to enter your NIN, mm -hmm. not, ident the full. not identification card number. Card ah, number is different from the NIN. Ah, yeah. So true. you enter your NIN, mm. then you enter your date of birth. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. When you enter your date of birth, as per your national ID. As per your national ID. Yes. <laughs> it has to tell you. You know how yes, people Yes, I told you change. we have integrated the, mm. the NIRA with the URA. So mm. it will auto-populate your details as per registration, as okay. per the way you registered. Yeah. So we'll have your name, surname, the first name, the middle name, even the gender. We'll have it. So the only thing you will enter is your title. Mm -hmm. Then you tell us whether you're married mm -hmm. or single or you are still mm -hmm. making a decision. Mm -hmm. eh? <laughs> Right. Then the income most important source. part is income source. Mm. And earlier on, I said we give a team based on do you have a source of income? income. Okay. That's our first question we asked. Mm. 
uh, leaving other things constant, maybe for those who would be wanting mm. to get a team for issues like compensation or what. But we ask for source of source income. Of income is so here, customer. tell us your source of income. Mm. Uh, if you have also a registered business as your source of income, and I clicked mm. register, uh, registered oh, then business, they ask you for that. I'll be required to enter the certificate number. Then when I enter the certificate number, that 800 something, it will auto-populate my business name and the date when I register this business. Okay, okay. So okay. we have also uh, integrated our system with URSB. URSB. So that's how we are moving. Then for that, mm -hmm. after choosing the source of income, you give us. Your phone number. Your phone number. Your email in case you have. So it's not mandatory with the instant mm -hmm. email, but okay. the email is very important, especially when we need to communicate mm -hmm. to you or you also want to communicate to us. That's a two-way traffic, so we need yeah. a, uh, an email. In cases where it's not there, it's okay. To skip we that. Can, we can improve that later. Uh -huh. Then they tell us where you are staying, exactly maybe where your business is there, is located. Yeah. The district, the county, the sub-county, the parish, and all these come with the drop-down. Okay. So, uh, so uh, there's no, oh my God, I'm not sure about my sub -county. No, 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 no. <laughs> uh, if you say your business is in a BIM, mm. okay, then to uh -huh. maybe the only county there is Labuo. Uh, then you will tell us which sub county is the business in Morulem, Maga Maga, or where you choose the one that applies to you. Then, after filling all that, there is this oh, called I'm not, I'm not a robot. Mm -hmm. Just tick that box, then you submit your application. Mm. After five minutes or less than even five mm -hmm. minutes, you'll be able to receive your team. Okay. I always feel like this is like making noodles. It's very instant. <laughs> it's instant and yeah. the name says. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice, nice. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you for walking us through. And while you were going through the process, I was asking myself, what if my source of income changes because, you know, life is always changing? Then what? Yeah, we acknowledge that life mm. is not stagnant. Presta, anything mm. can change. Even your contact details can change. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your email can change. Okay. So we have a window on where, you, on how you can amend such. Okay. okay. If you're able to access your account mm. through the email, your portal account, you can still send an amendment through your account. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm. Or if you're not in instances where you cannot access mm. your team because your email is wrong, yeah. then you visit, you'll be required to visit the nearest URL yeah. office. Uh, if you remember when I was referring to download online forms under the team registration, get, get team, mm. you will be required to download one of the templates mm. Mm. or say an individual if that amendment is related to an individual okay. or non-individual amendment, mm. non-individual amendment for companies, okay. then you can fill the areas that are necessary. Then mm. you put the attachments and submit to any nearest URL mm. office. Okay. So such changes can be can, modified can be. or updated ah. so that you are able to access your TIN account. Team. Okay. Mm. And uh, what if, uh, okay, I, I started out when I registered, I was in employment and now I also have business and I went, is it okay for someone to have multiple teams? What if I want to, my team for employment income, my team for my business, like, is that okay? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Priska, for the team, uh, an individual or a company is entitled to one team. Okay. One thing for one man. One thing for one man. <laughs> and in cases where we find you could be having two, mm -hmm. then we look at 
how to deactivate one. one. Okay. So that you remain with one. Because mm -hmm. that is what you're entitled to. Ah, okay. Yes. Then you asked in case you are in employment and what business. Yes. All those is still under amendments. You can amend your yeah, you can amend. to include the business income that you have. Okay. So instead of your team having only employment mm -hmm. as it used to be, mm -hmm. to be having Prisca TL Enterprises mm -hmm. as business That's income an added addition. In. So and okay. the obligations now will arise there. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Because more, more income, times, more obligations. Uh, uh, when you get a team for employment, mm. the obligation like filing returns fall mm. on your employer. You yes, get that's it. True. Yeah. But now you have to go you're through adding that. business, mm. meaning now you will have to play your obligations of filing returns, okay. keeping okay. your business records and paying your taxes. Remember, the other part, it was your employer who was holding all the garbage. Doing all that work. You just find your payslip without <laughs> it. Eh? Yeah. But now here, you will have to mm. file to and pay what is due to, due to Caesar. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, at this point, Lodia, we'll get into some of the questions that are coming in. Mm. Um, we have uh, someone from LinkedIn. They're asking, uh, if I forget my password slash phone number, how can I retrieve my account? Okay. If you forget your phone number. Mm. Forget the phone number the, or the email. Or the, uh, oh, sorry. I think it was if I forget my Password, password and email. But yeah, password and email. Okay. When you forgotten your password that you registered, your email actually, mm. or even the password to that to the, email. Yes. Eh? I think or that's what Or even the phone contact that you registered with us. Yeah. Because there are many instances where someone acquired a team, lost the phone number, and forgot that mm -hmm. phone number completely. Please, we encourage you to visit any nearest URA office. Okay. Fill that amendment form, the manual one. Have your national ID, a copy of your national ID. Mm. And we'll be able to update such information to your team. Then after updating is, you, uh, is when you will be able to access your account. Okay. Yes. Okay. So it's time to make a trip to URA. Uh, don't be scared. <laughs> we don't bite. <laughs> We're very nice. <laughs> okay, and you will be supported. Uh, so uh, there is a another question. Hi, kindly advise on how to change my email address. Uh, used to get a tin. The one I used back then was for my former workplace. Okay, thank that... you, our viewer, for that. Um, how to change your email is visit any nearest URL office. Visit. Still. Or you can visit our web portal under Get Team. Okay. The last bit under that menu, mm. there is Download Manual Forms. Mm -hmm. If you are an individual, mm. you will download individual amendment form. Mm. Fill where that what where an email. Put your team, mm. your name, your team, under home address in Uganda. You will. Put mm -hmm. the email address that you want us to change. Put the mm -hmm. effective date. Mm -hmm. Then under alternate contact, please mm -hmm. do the same information. Put for us the email that you want us to change. Put the effective date. Mm -hmm. And under declaration, give it, write your name, sign, and put the effective date. Okay. And submit that to any nearest URA yes, office yes. with copy of your national ID and if it is for the company please download the team non-individual amendment form and mm. fill the necessary sections yeah. where you require that amendment to be made attach a copy of certificate of registration or mm. any copy of any director for national ID mm. and, uh, and submit still to NNERS URA office I'll be and we'll be happy to support to support to update your details so that you're able to do 
to access your account and be able to comply. Yeah, and to develop Uganda. Yeah, <laughs> we do this together. Okay, so um, Tina from LinkedIn is asking, how do I get a TIN certificate? For a TIN certificate, you can still get from your portal account if you're logged in. Okay. There is under the services menu, there is print TIN certificate. Okay. And you can print from there. If you're unable to print your TIN certificate right from there, please visit our office, avail your TIN, or just tell them, I need a TIN certificate. Mm. They will look for your TIN and print for you your TIN certificate and issue you right from there. Okay, okay, there you go, Tina. Um, thank you very much, Lydia. That's, you, you, you you know, you're ably responding to our taxpayers' qu queries, and I'm sure they feel a sense of relief, like, okay, okay. Uh, so, our taxpayers, thank you for watching. Keep those questions coming in. Uh, when you were talking, you talked about where there comes the time where you can't deactivate your team. Now, that is sad, you know, to see someone follow you know, the tax register, but what instances you hinted on one but what other instances uh, come into play for one to get de deactivated and what does that look like thank you Prisca. deactivation is simply like keeping your tin on hold ah uh, pause yeah you're just mm. pausing your tin the usage of your tin mm -hmm. uh and in such cases when does it arise yeah, when does it happen? Maybe my business has closed or I've ceased to do business. You get it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can keep my team on hold by deactivating it. Okay. And when I bounce back into business, mm -hmm. I can just what? Reactivate it. Okay. Okay. So, and I'll be able to use my team the way it is. Okay, so for so, that, I just visit still a URA service center. Like, yes, you uh, feel go with that with this. Under the manual forms, under uh, the okay. team, there is a team deactivation, stroke reactivation. You will be able to fill there. Then the officers will be able to proceed with their task okay. of reactivating it. Okay. Yes. And what if... I am moving completely to like a different country and I am migrating. Yes. And I'm like, I will not that be is still. Also, of course, that's also, I was still coming to that. Ah, okay. Maybe you're Sorry. leaving the country. Mm. You can still keep your tin on hold. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yes. By deactivating it. If you don't want to keep mm -hmm. a tin or like on hold deactivate, because our services, Prisca, are still online. And you can access, you can From do them you anywhere, That's wherever true. you are. Mm -hmm. You get it? Mm -hmm. Yes. If I've ceased business, maybe in Uganda, and I still have, maybe I'm projecting a small time to bounce, to bounce back, I can still file my returns from no. wherever I am. So it will That's not true. necessarily require me to, to deactivate ah, okay. my team. Mm -hmm. So the deactivation applies to how serious maybe you would want your team to be on hold. Okay. okay. You get it? Yes. Maybe your business is closing and you're not really sure when it will, you will come mm. back. Mm. But mm. going up uh, outside the country, you might come up and you, you get it. There's no need <laughs> yeah. for you to activate that team. Okay. Yeah, okay. but if you're going for good and mm. you don't, See, will return back to us, then maybe that's when we can allow it. You, uh, can, you can deactivate it. You okay. get it, eh? Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Lodia. This has been a very insightful discussion. It's been a great chat. Uh, and you know, tin is one of those things that feels like you are, it talks about it all the time. It's a tired topic, but it's always important to do these refresher courses and you've done great uh, with this particular episode. So at this point, we're going to just uh, work towards wrapping up. So you could share your closing shorts, anything that we may have missed out uh, to, that you want to relate to our taxpayers. This is the moment. Mm. Thank you, Prisca. Thank you, our viewers. 
uh, the time that you give us actually to listen to us is what we value That's true. very much. Because at one point or the other, it would affect you or would affect us when we are trying to collect. So I encourage whoever is doing business out there mm. to register for a team and acquire one. Because our tax law really requires us to support our government and really spell out that whoever is doing business in Uganda should have a team. Or before any local government issues a trading license or any permission to do business in a particular jurisdiction, we should have a team. So we encourage our taxpayers there, please. Visit any nearest URA office or get your team through the instant process. We also have other revenue mobilization strategies that okay. are running. The IFRIS. IFRIS is basically a solution that we brought on board yeah. to help us in the record keeping. Yeah. It's very it's a good solution yeah. it's for our tax benefits our tax yes. yes. One, you'll be able to have your records mm -hmm. in time and, and share with the government. Of course, when you have your, your records in time, then mm -hmm. issues like excessive assessments can be mitigated because yeah. we have your information. Mm. Uh, the process of you getting your returns in time yeah. can be simplified because we have your data. Yeah. So we encourage those who are mandated, especially the birth registered taxpayers, to utilize the solution, the IFRS. Issue your invoices through the IFRI system. And in this case, every invoice that you have transacted, please issue it through the system. Yeah. For those also who are not VAT registered, but they are registered on IFRIS, please, we encourage you to pass through your transactions all through the IFRI system. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have the DTS for those dealing in gazetted items. We have 13 of them. Okay. Because it first began with the six, that is soda, water, water. Mm. Uh, tobacco, water, mm -hmm. any okay. product that you get a tax stamp. Please, if you, you are a manufacturer or an importer of such products, mm. please endeavor to affix the tax That's stamps done. on them because it's illegal to bring such products in the market when they don't bear the tax terms. Otherwise, thank you and have a good evening. It has been nice mm. uh, sharing with you about our first point of entry, which is the team registration into the tax register. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lodia. Thank you for coming on your TV and on the Tax Machuzi show for teaching our taxpayers and bringing them up to speed with you know everything they need to know about the team. We, I, I believe they're so much wiser, so much more knowledgeable, so much more responsible. And uh, we hope we'll have you on, on, on more episodes and more episodes. To our viewers, thank you for being a great audience. Thank you for tuning in to our ATV. Uh, Tax Machuzi is done, but there's plenty of other shows on our YouTube channel. Uh, so there's Live Sex Lounge, there is a Banguli Road, there is Orobimbi. Can I say them all? There are really, there's so many. So there's something for everyone. There is a recorded shows. Feel free to watch our ones to watch show. It, you know, it gives great entrepreneurship tips. Feel free to watch the Women in Tax show. I mean, it's Women's Month. Go on there and get inspired by women doing great things in the taxation sector. And yeah, so the ladies out there, you know, learn a thing or two on how you can shine in your career. And it's been great having you. Uh, go on and enjoy your Easter holiday and we'll see you again next week from Tuesday. Bye-bye.